I kind of hope um, you like a little bit different of a background. Um, I'm actually currently in another area of my house. I am in my living room. As you can see, my rose gold moment of a Christmas tree. How do we like it? And because this year we wanted to have more of a rose gold Christmas, I can go ahead and, you know, put in a clip of, you know, the Christmas tree. I have all kinds of awesome ideas for um, for the rest of my Christmas decor in my home. I really wanted to do like a, a rose gold Christmas this year just because it's glam, it's beautiful. I also have my small little crystal collection as well as my candle. I have my pop with me. I don't care what y'all say, sometimes I just need a pop. Do you guys say soda or pop? I mean, so I mean, I grew up with both, but what do you guys refer to soda as? I just need a little bit more of a a little pick me up other than coffee coffee we're just not cutting it today but anyways so i actually just wanted to pop on here and do it get ready with me i'm gonna try and film as many videos as i can at least up until christmas just because things are getting a little bit more busier and busier and busier i already have my foundation and eyebrows done I went ahead and primed my eyes but as far as for foundation i went ahead and used my l'oreal infallible pro matte just because i am combo skin and and I am in shade 106 Sun Beige, just because I am a little lighter this year. My tan kind of stays around during the summer, but I didn't really do much this summer, so uh, we didn't exactly get as tan as we planned. And then I went ahead and prepped my face with the Kaja Beauty Blur Drop Weightless Water Primer Base. This actually is so good and it smells like luxury skincare. I picked this up at TJ Maxx. Let's pick this up if you can find it. It's absolutely amazing. And then I went ahead and sealed my pores with the Putty Primer. As you can see, she is well used. But honestly, how are we liking the quality as far as for her camera? I'm actually filming on my iPhone. I have my ring light on my iPhone. As much as I love my other camera, I honestly, I think this one is just a good vlogging camera just when I'm out and about and everything. I have the Canon um, SX730. This takes wonderful pictures, but I don't know as well as about for filming. So right now I'm just currently using my iPhone. I went ahead and went in with my tried and true, my ColourPop no filter concealer. I am in shade medium dark 32. I went ahead and set it with my Cody Airspun powder. I went ahead and primed my eyes again with my tried and true, the MAC Paint Joy Paint Pot. So today's video is actually, I've seen it kind of going around YouTube, which I'm actually really happy that it's happening, is using the makeup you already have. To be honest, I'm kind of over the whole consumer cons consumerist approach as far as what's hot, what's fresh, what's new. You, you know what I mean? I'm just kind of over it. You know, a lot of people don't go, go through eyeshadow that much. As, as fast as you know compared to like other products but yeah so I'm just really into just watching the videos of the makeup that people already have and what they already use this palette that I'm going to be using it's been out for quite some time I want to say like maybe a year or so so I'm just gonna go back in with my sponge real quick uh, you can actually pick it up at Target. It's not expensive at all. And honestly, I can compare the price point to like BH Cosmetics to where it's it's not pricey at all. I mean, it's definitely cheaper than most palettes, but it's affordable. It's great colors. Go ahead and go in with the Makeup Obsession. This is the collaboration with Belle Jordan. Now, if you guys haven't seen Belle Jordan, what are you doing right now? Go subscribe to her channel. She is the absolutely the most beautiful human being I have ever seen, ever. I became a fan of hers two years ago. Yeah, it's been about two and a half years. And when I found that she came out with this palette, I was like super excited. Oh, by the way, have we noticed? I took off my nails. <laughs> Um, I just, I couldn't do them anymore. Try not to pay too much attention to my nails. They are trash. She just, just her whole aesthetic is just, I want to be that. Especially her tutorials. She's super, sorry. She's super talented, um, in her makeup. I wish I could 
master a cut crease the way that she masters her cut creases because <laughs> i cannot I'm, I'm still working on it but i cannot do a cut crease as amazing as hers i am actually going to be using her palette so as you can see the palette is amazing colors you have a lot of warm colors you got a couple cool tones and you have some brighter colors this gold is amazing i know that with the last couple of videos that i've done i've always done the I've always done like pinks. So today I'm actually gonna do more of something as far as for what I would wear to work, which um, is not subtle. It is. It, it does have a lot to do with the browns and stuff. So today we're just gonna kind of make it a little chill and just talk about some stuff. Um, things that I did wanna talk about as far as what's going on with me and I'm just talking about life. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to, I don't have a hair tie. Cool. I usually keep one on me. Anyway, so I figured I'd just go ahead and kind of pull my hair back. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the shade Sagittarius on my Morphe M504 brush, just to kind of pop something into the crease. This is actually kind of like an orangey shade. Now, one thing with Makeup Obsession is that you do need to be a little bit light-handed because these are very pigmented colors. So as far as for when I found this palette, um, you can pick it up at Target. I haven't got a chance to take a look at the other palettes. I definitely saw the other palettes, but this one I was more excited about because I'm a huge fan of Bill. Kind of gives like that nice wash of like a warm tone. I'm actually gonna go in with the next shade, which is shade Hot Sauce, my favorite. I like all things Chile, to be honest. I am just a spicy bitch. And I'm just actually just gonna pop that into the crease. So I just wanted to talk about life with you guys, or at least for the most part, that of some of the things that has just been weighing on my mind heavily. For me, I have always been a very spiritual person not an extremely religious person but as far as for like i do believe now this is going off on a different tangent i have always been very in tune with a lot of things as a child i was able to see things that people had that normal people wouldn't see i saw shadow people i saw all kinds of things as a child but as i grew older i kind of actually like suppressed that ability just because like I've always been told that, um, oh, that's devil work, that's this, that's the devil putting things in your mind. He's trying to trick you into, you know, seeing things that aren't really there. You know, I pick up on a lot of things. I have, I read people very easily. I am very much of an empath. And that's why working at my job, but just dealing with the general public, it wears me out. I feel whatever, that a person is feeling. I pick up on a lot of people's energies. And like I said, usually when I'm right about something, I have a hunch about something, I'm usually pretty spot on. It's kind of creepy in a way. <laughs> but I have always been very much of a creative person. It's just something that ignites my soul, that I need to be able to do something that feeds that fire to be able to be creative. That's why I kind of turned to like makeup and um, as a child, I, I drew, I, I was very much into music. Most types of music that most kids wouldn't be into. I loved orchestra music. I've loved classical music. I've loved, you know, music that the average kid would not listen to. I did not listen to no kids bop back in the day, okay? I've always resonated with art and creation and I don't understand like where I just, I don't know, like I've always had a knack for it and I was always really good at it. Like I was just naturally good at it. I love to draw, I love to paint, I love to sing, I love, I play the guitar. <laughs> That's why I'm making even YouTube videos because I noticed that a lot of things are turning digitally. I am now getting into photography and um, I've studied that all through, or all the four years of high school I was in media. I was just doing some um, thinking and some serious soul searching today. Sorry, I'll get back to my blending here. Just doing like some meditation and and whatnot because just I, I feel that it's very important to do things that enhance personal growth 
whether that be meditation, just taking a few minutes, self-care, reading, uh, reading books. It's not a bad thing to search for personal growth. If anything, that's something that you should be doing, uh, searching and, you know, doing a lot of soul searching, searching what helps you thrive to be a better person than you were yesterday. I have been doing a lot of that lately. Reason being is because I just reached 25. I know that's probably all you said, baby. Well, no. Um, I'm not getting any younger. We're not getting any younger. And I was just like, you know, I'm tired of doing things that aren't fulfilling me. But even as a young adolescent, I have always thought differently than other people. I have always been the black sheep of the family, but because I didn't believe everything, I wasn't a robot. I couldn't, I had my own opinions. I had my own thoughts that were different from everybody else's and I was ridiculed. I was shunned for it. I just, I'm sorry, but I just, I didn't buy the bullshit that they were feeding me, you know? I, I didn't like the fact that, you know, that I grew up, you know, having fear instilled on me. Oh, if you do this, this might happen. Or if you do that, this might happen. I've always trusted my intuition and my intuition has never failed me. Every decision that I, ha I have ever made, one, I think about it five, six, seven times over. I weigh out the pros and cons, and if it feels right to me, I go with it. Next, I'm actually gonna go in with the shade 13 and deepen out my crease. As I was saying, is that I feel that I wanted to go ahead and start doing things that make me happy and not really personally give a shit about what anybody else thinks. I know how cliche that sounds, and you know, it's, it's the God honest truth. The thing is, is that everybody says, oh, well, you need to get a stable job. You need to go ahead and, you know, collect a pension. As amazing as that sounds, I feel that I was not made for the cookie cutter lifestyle. I was not. I was made to go ahead and help impact the world that's how i feel whether that be helping somebody going through a tough situation i was as a younger kid like in seventh eighth grade when i was 12 13 years old i was always the go-to person when somebody needed advice on things i was the go-to person oh well you know what should i do i mean what do you guys think i should do um or stephanie i'm having this problem how do i fix it I was always that go-to person. So I always felt the need that that was my purpose because I felt amazing if I was to be able to help someone out in a tough situation. That's why I thought about pursuing a career in, in first responder because I actually wanted to impact somebody else's life or lives or knowing that I saved somebody's life. But the only thing is, is that as much as that was amazing and it's a fulfilling job in a way and it was a, an amazing idea but it didn't set my soul on fire to, to do it you know what i mean i just i don't know i feel like i'm kind of stuck in a rock in a hard place like i really do feel that my destiny was to be able to you know impact people or reach people in some sort of way whether that be here on YouTube and like talking about topics, talking about life topics, talking about things like, you know, giving advice on things, not health advice, but I'm talking about advice as far as for, for like real life situations, dealing with toxic people, dealing with toxic friendships or, you know, dealing with um, anxiety or depression, knowing that there are ways to be able to, to help it, to cope with it, to be able to get past it. I know it's something that I continue to struggle with both. Um, I actually had a, a not so amazing uh, last few days. I was just, I had, I felt like I had no purpose, no nothing. It wasn't up until recently to where it just clicked. 
for me. It really did. That I was meant to pursue still a creative route in my life. I want to be able to see what next year holds for me. I felt like this year was such a transformative year for me in, in a, both in a good and a bad way. Really digging deep as to what I wanted in life. Because I feel like going into next year, I need to be making some serious changes in my life. Whether that be not associating with certain people anymore and, and, and inviting new friendships in and inviting new people in and people that only want the best for for me and my my husband now and seeing who's really there and really who's not there or who's there uh, when it's convenient or is only there when it benefits them you know are gonna hold you back in in a sense because you know they're or they try to project their own insecurities onto onto me and that's not gonna fly anymore that's, like i said it's just been such a transformative year as far as for deciding what i want who i want to be able to surround myself with going into the future and finding finding that that place to where it's it's gonna be Finding that place to where it's it's only up from here. I know that I was never meant to have a, a nine to five job. It's just that it didn't set my soul on fire. I hated the fact that I have to work under somebody. I like calling the shots too much. I like being able to have that creative freedom or not be chained to some type of, of work. I was never meant to, to work under somebody, to serve somebody. Um, and just because every single job that I've had, it was just, it was miserable. It, it was so freaking miserable. And hence why I was just like, you know what? This isn't challenging me. This is just a paycheck, which I'm still grateful for. <laughs> I'm grateful for the job I have now, but it's just that, um, it's, it's not fulfilling in any way as far as for, for the life that I want to create. I want to be able to create a life to where I can do this as a job and love every single moment of it. To open up new opportunities wherever that may take me. And as far as to express my creative, like I have so many ideas that I want to bring onto my channel. I want to be able to create art with video. I want to be able to create videos that move people, whether that takes me to a different country or a different state, um, you know, it's like, I have so many ideas. It's just, it's, it's getting there. <laughs> I know that's the beautiful part of the journey, but my just ambitious self, like I already want to be there, but I know everything happens in due time. I'm so thankful that just within like a few, just within like a few months, like my, I'm already are at 91 subscribers. I'm already at almost 100, 100 more subscribers. And then I can start actually building something. <laughs> like as far as for, for content creators, like you can actually um, start building something amazing. And I mean, I, I wanted to talk about certain topics. I, like, I don't have conventional opinions, to be honest. I base my opinions off of facts. I don't base them off of feelings. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm not politically correct. I'm just putting that out there. I am me, I am myself, and a lot of my opinions are not politically correct, and that might ruffle some feathers. But frankly, I don't give a shit because this is my space on my area of the internet, and it's my fucking channel. I don't lean left or right. I see both sides on a lot of things. But here's the thing, and that could be something new that brings to the table as far as for that. You know, somebody who, who sees both sides of a lot of things, of a lot of topics, of a lot of, um, whether that be world world issues or all kinds of stuff. That's what upsets a lot of people. It's like It's like you have to pick a side but I don't pick sides. I am myself. I don't choose sides. I decide off of facts 
and I draw my own conclusions on a lot of things. I don't know where that went, but I mean, I hope that makes sense. Like this is gonna be kind of all over the place. It's gonna be like a random rambles. I just, I kind of feel that I can bring something new to the table, something refreshing as far as for, like I am so, I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I am so freaking ready for a beauty community revamp here. Whatever happened to people loving makeup just for the love of makeup? Now all of a sudden it's about social status. Now all of a sudden it's about how many followers somebody has or the entitlement as far as for, oh, well I have this many followers so I should automatically get a free pass. What? Well, I'm actually gonna go in with the shade AF. It's this beautiful gold shade. I don't know if you can see it right there. Oh, so pretty. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. I am so bored of the beauty community as far as for what it's turned into. Like I'm bored. We're tired. We're over it. The truth as far as for like what I've seen, what I've gathered, that everybody's tired. Everybody's over it. Everybody wants something new. They want new talent. And I feel that, you know, it's like, I feel that people have who have gotten too big have lost their ability to be relatable. It's, it's happened to a lot of people. Like, I feel that they lose their relatability once they get the money, once they get the fame. If there's anything wrong with working hard for what you want, and you start letting ego and everything like that get in the way of who you really are. And it's sad, it, it really is, it's truly sad. And I wish it wasn't that way for like a lot of people. I don't know, that's just like, kind of like my little rant. This is actually just me. That is who I am as a person. My last few videos, um, I kind of was getting a feel as far as for um, what my audience may be like. I mean, at the same time, it's like, I know I'm not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. I'm not gonna vibe with everybody. But frankly, I don't really care. I don't, I, I don't care. And that's that. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Pops. And then I'm just gonna kind of just kind of blend and marry everything together. The best part about this eyeshadow palette is that I don't really get a lot of fallout. I just decided going into the new year that I am going to completely immerse my so I forgot my eyeliner and doing nothing non-stop nothing is going to get in the way of me pursuing something like this professionally impact the world in some sort of way change something impact the beauty world um letting everybody be an individual whether you agree with it or not that's that's the beauty of this though like you get to be able to be an individual there's no cookie cutter form of beauty it's like i'm tired of the whole thing of a beauty that's not naturally attainable as far as for that like it causes people to compare themselves to the point to where they feel absolutely worthless now i have unfollowed countless and countless and countless amounts of instagram accounts because it's not a sustainable form of of that you know, it's, it's not realistic for the average person who works a, a generic job, who has a family, who is insanely busy, who, because the thing is, is that even with like fitness influencers, I feel like there should also just be some sort of like regulations as far as for that. A lot of the times they have fake tits, just saying, I'm sorry, but they, a lot of the times they do. And if you do, cool, that's amazing. I want a pair anyway too. But here's the thing. A lot of the times it's, it, it's their job to look good. It's their job to look a certain way to reach people that want to achieve that sort of look. You know what I mean? It's like their literal job to, to stay that way, to be, aesthetically pleasing. Like, oh, well, I wanna look like her. Okay, buy my booty program. And a lot of the times they have a fake ass. So it's just like, it's, it's not a realistic approach. And then the person is spent chasing to try and look like them. 
and, it, and it's not even attainable. You know, like I feel like there should be some sort of a reality check when it comes to a lot of these things. Same thing with makeup. When somebody sells a product, as far as for, oh, well, I use this, so my skin will look of this amazing, but they're doing a lot more than just using that product. They're getting hydrofacials. They're getting face masks that cost a shit ton of money to attain that type of, of skin. It's not just the product, it's also what they're doing, but the, a lot of the times that's not affordable to the average person. Hydrofacials are expensive. I know, I tried to get one because I wanted to achieve a certain aesthetic because I felt pressure to, to try and look like a, a beauty influencer. I'm not gonna name names, but I'm just saying a beauty influencer. But the thing is, it's just like, I just, I don't like the fact that, you know, they do these paid sponsorships. If they love the product, that's amazing and it works for them, cool. But I just, I don't like the fact that a lot of these things, whether it be beauty influencers or fitness influencers, they're not, tr they're trying to sell you something, but it's not attainable or realistic for the average person. That's, that's where I'm trying to get at. It's like you're setting unrealistic expectations for these people and you're making money off of that. Like that's, like that's what blows my mind is the fact that you're making money off of, you know, certain like of, of selling unrealistic expectations for that person. Like it should change. Like we should base stuff, base stuff off of uh, authenticity and, and being relatable to that type of person, you know, like as far as for that, like, I don't know if I'm, if I'm making sense. Am I making sense? I think I'm making sense, but that's that's where I'm trying to get at as far as like I'm, I'm tired of seeing that all over social media and it's causing people and it's even caused me a number of occasions any accounts that made me feel like shit because I know for a fact that I would need surgery or some type of body altercation in order to achieve that 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 status and I I just I wanted to practice loving myself more when it come before I started, oh, maybe I should get a little bit of lip filler, or maybe I should get some boobs, or maybe I should, um, you know, buy that waist trainer that's the help. Maybe it'll make me help lose weight. Maybe I should get that diuretic shit tea that's gonna make me shit for the next freaking week, and I'm gonna shit out everything I've ever eaten since I was six years old because hashtag skinny. I, f I personally feel that I should get right with myself first and accepting, you know, like my body and wanting to be able to take care of it before going to that extent, you know what I mean? It's just that I really feel that, you know, we're, we're getting it twisted. We're trying to achieve this, this unrealistic form of beauty. The reason I say unrealistic is because there's not enough squats to be able to get some of these asses you see on Instagram. Sorry, but you know, there has been some surgical type of freaking lifting and tucking, you know, that has been going on to achieve the perfect ass. Some people are just blessed with one. But the thing is, is that like, I'm, I'm wondering if I'm going on a tangent about this, but I don't know, I just, I feel that something seriously needs to change in, in whether that be the beauty industry, the fitness industry. Um, we should want to strive for healthy. Um, we should want to strive for taking care of our bodies because this is the only one we get. Your body is seriously the most insane thing on the planet. Like if you think about all that it does and yet we, we neglect it, like we take care of our cars better than we take care of our bodies. And that's saying something. I had, to, I had to kind of put myself on blast. That was kind of like a wake up call <laughs> for me, to be honest. I was just like, okay, sis, I need to take a step back and I need to start um, reevaluating some choices. Let's just turn into like a kind of random rambles and I just like to hear myself talk. But I mean, do, do you all know as far as for like, do you guys understand kind of like where I'm coming from? Like I'm so ready just for a serious change. It's insane. Like I just, 
I wish that people weren't so afraid to really be themselves. Like everything has to be so perfect and pristine and and it's not perfect and pristine. Life is not all vacations and you know, I get it like what you see on Instagram is the highlight reel, but same thing and same thing with like weight loss. Everybody wants to nobody wants to see the struggle that you went through. They just want to see the end result and how how did they get there? They only care about your story as soon as you get the results that they wish that they could get. Like, have you seen that? I've seen that all the time on YouTube. Oh, how did you get that? Um, oh, well, I did this, this, and this. If you guys want to know my fitness journey or whatever. Okay, but here's the thing. Like, they, they, you tell them, like, it took me six years to get here. But yet, they want something. They want your results in a month. Like, it just, it doesn't happen that way. And everybody's chasing a, a quick fix. Everybody's chasing a shortcut. But there's no shortcut. It's pure hard work these people have put in. And it's taken a full year or two of straight consistency, which is something that I continue to struggle with. I struggle so hard with consistency on everything. And that's something that I, going into the new year too, that um, from now, from start, I'm, I've started to be a lot better when it comes to consistency. From now, going on into the new year, and then going on from past that, like that's the one thing that I wanted to, to really focus on is my consistency with eating better, with exercising better, with a lot of things. Staying consistent when it comes to putting myself first. I have a bad habit of putting everybody else's needs before mine. And a lot of the times it's like, you can't pour from an empty cup. You know what I mean? As cliche as that sounds, but it's the truth. You can't expect to help anybody when you have, when you don't help yourself a lot of the times. I just feel like I have reached like this peak of like an inner revelation. Yeah, you gotta be careful with doing eyeliner. You can't be afraid of it in sense fear. So I'm gonna let my eyeliner dry. I always use and always have used the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. This is actually my all-time favorite eyeliner. I don't know exactly how I'm going to put this video together. I don't even know which direction this video is even headed. It kind of went on several tangents, but this is one of those things that I really feel like it's been weighing heavy on my mind. I really want to pursue something that it will sincerely light my soul on fire and would make me so happy to be able to do and and that's creating art that's creating content that's creating just being able to express myself creatively and come up with new ideas and just you know have my creative freedom I have like so many ideas that i want to implement um as far as for that it's just that i don't have a lot of the things yet to make those things happen so i'm manifesting it now i'm gonna go ahead and put my lips on I line my lips with like a lip pencil now this one came in like an ulta free gift type thing it's a dual ended lip pencil i'm going in with the frida kahlo x ulta collab lipstick in shade sensual now this one is my all-time everyday liquid lipstick like and it lasts so long next i'm just going to kind of bronze up the face so i'm going to go in with the Too faced dark chocolate soleil deep tan matte bronzer I had this brush for a while i'm going to go in with my morphe r10 brush as you can see i've had this for quite some time she gets a lot of use and abuse go ahead and bronze up the face a little bit all right guys so this is the finished look so this is what i usually also wear on a day-to-day -day basis and this is also what i wear to work just you know a nice everyday look um i know the dramatic wing but i just love to do a dramatic wing with every single look that i do i kind of hope you kind of enjoyed this video i mean i know i kind of went on like several dis different tangents and whatnot but really hope and appreciate that you guys um you know like like this video subscribe if you want to hear any more about my random rambles go ahead and like this video don't forget to hit subscribe don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell that way you're notified every single time that i upload 
And yeah, so thank you guys so much for checking out my video. I really hope that you guys make this loved this makeup look. Um, I absolutely love this palette. So pick it up at Target if you can. Support Belle if you guys. I'll go ahead and link her channel below. Like I said, she is just an absolutely amazing YouTuber and I'm a huge fan of hers. Until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. My cup is gonna stay there. Oh my baby, got me staring at you.